Welcome back to another video everyone. So today we're at the convent and this morning we are removing all the handrails from the corridors in the convent. Uh, these were put in, I would say, in the 1970s or 80s so that the elderly community that lived here um, could walk around with ease. So basically these were against the wall like this and you know, you could walk around if you're a little bit uneasy on your feet like that and yeah or if you were drunk you know you wouldn't fall over because you've got something to grab onto so we're removing these just because they're not required anymore and I'll tell you what they're made of really good quality wood as well i think they're oak yeah so let's crack on wouldn't the convent make a fantastic hotel because look at all of these rooms and doors so if you follow me i've got a little bit of an idea so I think you could take three of the smaller rooms and turn them into one large room or two of the small rooms and one of the small rooms as an ensuite. So three small rooms, this is confusing isn't it? Three small rooms for one suite. Yeah. So let's go in here for example. The doorways are incredibly short because don't forget this building was built in 17... 73 or something like that so back then you know people were a bit shorter so i've got a duck so you can see these rooms are actually quite small i would say this is about six or seven square meters but if you took three of these rooms so you'd have two rooms like this for a bedroom and that means you'd have two windows per bedroom and then you take another one of the rooms for a small ensuite, so a shower, toilet, sink, you know, you'd have pretty decent sized hotel rooms, I think. I mean, I'm not gonna turn it into a hotel, but it would be a fantastic hotel if that was done. A lot of these walls are literally stud walls about that thick. I think they opened up the whole lot, and I think there's only a few, um, like uh, weight bearing walls along the corridors. So anyway, let's carry on. You see this large door has been changed. So it's for wheelchair access or wheeled bed access. But here again, views onto the courtyard. This room is in really good condition. It's been done not that long ago. So again, if you broke through, Use that light, Steve. If you broke through into another room, you know, you could have an ensuite and a decent sized bedroom. Or you can make really nice suites where you could have one bedroom, a lounge, and then an ensuite. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So I've just counted all the rooms on this one floor. And in total, I think I could have between eight and nine really large suites on this one floor. So if you include the floor above as well, I think you could have between 20, 25 bedrooms in total. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yes. Did you have a question, Ryan? Yes. How much does a hotel room go for in this area per night? Um, it would all depend on the facilities or, you know, how nice the rooms are. Um, but probably between 75 euros a night and 150 euros a night, something like that. Nice. Yeah. Welcome to the attic everyone. So we're gonna have a bit of a clean today. We've never ever touched the attic. So we've never cleaned it and we haven't really inspected it. So today we're gonna to have a bit of a hoover up, brush up, dust up, and I'll show you a few of the antiques and the furniture that's currently up here because I haven't really showed it before. There's a few armoires and pieces of interest. So let's crack on.
paper, old bits of paper. So I'm not sure what this is. It says Metz Le Cap and it's got a ship's wheel on it. It looks like leather. Interesting. It says Centre de Chèque Postal de Rennes and it is um, essentially a statement of what you got in your account. So she had 18,000 and then she only had 12,000 left after she bought something. I imagine it was one of the nun's accounts. Yeah, very interesting. What you found, Rick? An old padlock with a little bit of string attached. It's a lovely old padlock. Yeah. No key yet, though, so uh, I'll have to keep looking. <laughs> what you found, Steve? We found an old hoe in the convent. Look at that. I'd be up for cleaning the gutters. Found an old painting, look. Looks amazing. I wonder how old that is. No idea. We'll put it somewhere. So this old cupboard here, we've just discovered it has a small inscription which says naps and something else. So I assume it's for bed sheets or something like that. Maybe it was downstairs at some point and they brought it up here. Yeah, that's a nice old cupboard. There's a few of them. There's another one here. You can see a sleeping bag and other stuff. Someone was obviously sleeping in here at some point. What else have they got in here? Like a white powder on a spoon. Hmm, lovely. Probably drugs. What else is in here? Newspaper. A knife. So someone was definitely sleeping here at some point. Oh, they stink them sheets. <coughs> I wouldn't want to put that on, would you? No. Maybe, uh, the person who was sleeping here, maybe it was their motorbike helmet or moped helmet, I don't know. Or maybe it belonged to one of the nuns. We don't know. Let me just bring it into the light quickly. This is the nun's wheel of fortune. So you would spin it and whatever it landed on, there you go, five. You've won five euros. So possibly bingo at some point for the old girls who lived here, yeah? Wow, and they've used an old bike wheel, look. Thank you. 
legs 11. And there's a smaller one here, look. This one's a bit temperamental. Ooh. Maybe they stopped using this one and made a bigger one. So I found what I believe is a saddle rack. Look at this. So possibly put your harnesses or saddles on it at some point, I don't know. It's nice though. What a lovely discovery, I didn't even know it was there. They're just steps. Steps, yeah, wow. Steps up to the altar. Oh yeah, they might have come out of the, the chapel, possibly. Yeah, so I didn't think of, think of that. That's interesting. Are they both the same size? Because if they are... They look slightly different, don't they? Yeah. Uh, no, look at that insect. Believe me. Yeah. Sure. Oh, that could they could be kneeling. They could be for kneeling. Yeah. Kneeling. On. Interesting. What's that? Well, I thought it was something to do with. Uh, I don't know. Maybe for carrying something. But so you get one side, Steve. There we go. We found something incredibly interesting. There's a hole here in the floor. And just here, you can see it goes down and it actually goes down into the area where my office is. Okay. But then up here, you've got a smooth bit of wood which has sort of been carved out. And further up, there's another hole and a bracket. I know now where the rope went for the bell to ring it and it is in my office. So it's gonna come in really handy when we find a bell because I'll probably put the string in the original location down into my office. These documents date back to 1972. That's 50 years. Very good find, Steve. Very good find. What have you found, Steve? What's the date on this? I can't see. 2016. Oh, it's not that old then. Vote to leave the EU. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, alternative he started it, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's the one he's, to blame. It is full. So his name is and his address is in the description. <laughs> when you're joking. You're filming? Yes. Let me just think about what I'm going to say a minute. Speak from the heart. So thank you, why do I always say so at the beginning of every sentence? Thank you everyone for watching this video today. The attic is now spotless. Thank you so much to Steve and Rick for helping and thank you so much to Ryan for filming and editing this video. Tomorrow, something incredibly interesting is happening. All I will say is that it's something, we're going to buy something for the convent which is missing. So yeah. That's all I'm going to say. So we're going to get in Ryan's car tomorrow, drive three hours, give a man loads of money, put it in his boot and bring it back to the convent. So it's going to be a very, very interesting video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.